Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I recently purchased the Star Wars um, Darth Vader ColourPop palette. It took about a week to get because they were um, experiencing some backlog of orders. So it took uh, pretty long for them to ship this out to me from the time that I ordered it. But it finally arrived and I'm so excited um, because it is just really beautiful. Um, I do plan to do something a little bit different. I'm not going to do a tutorial. I'm actually going to swatch these on my skin uh, with my finger and with a brush. So you can see how the shadows are going to perform. Um, you can see the actual color that it is when I swatch it with my finger and then you'll see how it performs when I swatch it with the brush. And then I'm going to apply each individual color to my eye lid so you can see what it looks like on the eye if it's a darker shade i'm gonna try and use a blending brush to show how easily um, the colors blend i'm going to work my way from the darker shades up to the lighter shades just because i feel like the darker shades are the ones that you really can't tell uh, what they're going to look like on the skin from looking at pictures online so that is what i'm going to start with i'm going to start with the color sith lord so Sith Lord is a, it looks a little bit of like a brownish, uh, brownish purpley color in the pan. When I swatch it on my arm with my finger, um, it applies really, really smoothly. It looks like it's going to be easy to blend. Um, it does have that little bit of um, purple, like a little, a light purplish tint to it. And with the brush. Uh, okay. So that's what it looks like with the brush. And that's what it looks like on my arm. And just so you can see, there is a lot of fallout on the pan from this color. So I will show you what it looks like on the eye. I'm just using a, a flat brush to apply it. Okay, so that is the color on the eye. So. so I tried to soften up the edges just a little bit with this blending brush. And I think it looks pretty nice. Um, it is very purple. It, it has like a lot of like a, I don't even know what color this would be. Maybe, I guess it would be called plum because it's kind of like purple, but it still has that little bit of pink undertones, like a little bit of reddish. There is a lot of, I don't know if you could see it on the camera, um, but there is a lot of fallout underneath my eye right here. So you're definitely gonna have to, if you're gonna use this makeup, you're either gonna have to put those um, pads underneath to catch the fallout, or you're gonna wanna um, put your makeup on last because you're gonna have to clean all this up um, if you are going to use this color. So the next color in the palette that I'm going to be swatching is going to be this um, dark black color. It actually has a lot of sparkle to it and the sparkles um, really look similar to the Sith Lord color. So you're gonna have this like black color with a little bit of sparkles. It's called Dark Side and here's the finger swatch. Okay. And here it is with the brush. Thank you. 
So this is the dark side. It is very dark. Um, I would probably use this to set my eyeliner in place. If I was putting on some eyeliner and I wanted to have my eyeliner have a little bit of sparkle to it, this is, for me, this is much too dark of a color. Maybe you can use it to darken up the corner of, of your eye when you use the gray colors. Um, that's probably what you could do with it. Here we go with a little bit of just blending it and smoothing it out for the crease. And, and so that is what this color looks like on the eye. The next color I'm going to swatch is going to be this uh, grayish color. It's called the Empire, and it does look like it has a little bit of blue undertones to it. So let me grab some with my finger. And so let's grab some with the brush. The next color that I'm going to swatch is called the Death Star. And this is one of the sparkle shades in the center of the palette. And it's a grayish, bluish color, like a steel. That's how it applies with the finger. That's a beautiful, beautiful color. And here's it with the And I don't have any primer on my eyes or anything just because I'm just trying to uh, swatch it so you can see what it looks like on the skin. I'm not really trying to have it have staying power or anything. So there's nothing on my lid. It's just a bare, bare lid. That's this one on the on the lid. I do think that I do see that there's a lot less fallout with the glitter shadows, but there still is quite a bit um, down here on my eye. But that's what this one looks like, and that one is called Death Star. The next one is going to be this middle color, this red one. I am the master, and first with my finger, and then with the brush. You're fine. Okay, so as you can see, it's, this is like a, this is basically typical for any, um, any sparkle shades. You're going to get a much, um, a, you're gonna get much more color deposit if you use your finger with these sparkle shades as opposed to with a brush. They just, they don't bring, they, they just don't deposit a lot of color onto the skin. So that's why whenever I use um, any type of sparkle colors, I always use the tip of my finger. I just feel like it looks nicer. You get more deposit and it just, it kind of just looks better in my opinion. But that's that color. Okay, 
So there's this one on the lid. The next one I'm going to go to is called Gone Galactic. And it's another sparkle shade. And then we have one more sparkle shade. Um, but here's the next one, it's Gone Galactic. And I'm going to do that with my finger first. And that one actually looks a little more like of a top color. It has a brownish instead of so gray. You know, like this is very, very much like a bluish gray. This is more like a brownish gray. And there it is with the brush. This one I'm excited about too because I really do like things that have a little bit more of that brownish uh, hue to them. I don't usually wear a lot of gray eyeshadows, but. So here is the Gone Galactic on the eye, and this one is actually really, really pretty. I, so far, I think I have a few favorites, but this is this is definitely one of them. It applied really nice, and, and um, it just has a really nice color to it. Okay, the next color is going to be Battle Station. It's this medium gray color at the top, and here it is. This, this one didn't really apply as smoothly as the others. Okay, and here it is with the brush. Pan, and this is um, wow, this is really not showing up on my eye at all. That is the battle station on my eye. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna have to put the others up here. The next one is going to be Imperial Forces and that's this color up in the middle. And here it is with the brush, uh, with my finger. And that one, wow, that's very light. You can barely even see that. Here is this one. I would say that that would probably the, be the better one for a transition color because it doesn't show up that well. I'd like to see how it shows up on the eye because it's barely showing up on my skin. Uh, it's right here and that's with my using my finger. So that's definitely going to be a shade that you want to put as a transition to, to blend these colors together. There it is. Like I said, you can really not see it very well. Um, it's definitely, it, it is definitely gonna be a transition color. I can't really see this being used. It doesn't really cover the eye at all. It just kind of makes it look flat, like a matte, cup, a matte you know, texture, but it's not really changing the color very much. This is what it looks like. The last one is called Stormtrooper and it's that white color, that white shade. And it's right here, let's see. It's very light. You can't barely see it. I promise it's there. It's, it's very, very light. It's not noticeable 
barely at all on my skin. It just, it looks like a little bit of shimmer. I'd like to try to get that to show up on the camera. Okay. You can kind of see it more now that I move my arm. If you can see the little sparkles and the little shimmer, that's that white color called Stormtrooper. So there is this. I don't know if you can see this shimmer on the camera because I have this bright light in my, I have the O-ring on so that you guys can see uh, this, but I can't tell in the camera if there's any, I guess when I shake my head like this, I can see that it, there's a shimmer, but yeah, there's a very light shimmer. This is definitely uh, not as, it's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. I've seen um, pretty white shadows and it looked much more pigmented than this. It is very smooth. It, it feels very velvety and very soft on my, on my skin, but um, it definitely doesn't have a lot of pizzazz to it. It does flatter the, um, the palette as a whole so I do like it um, it just I thought it was gonna be a little bit more white because it's so white in the palette but it obviously doesn't come up that way on the skin but it is it does add um, a little bit of moisture to the look you know it comes on very smooth when you touch it it feels almost like it's wet actually um, it feels glossy and it applies really nice. Um, I would probably use this one with my finger just because of the velvety texture that it has. And it does feel a little bit more wet than the other ones. The other sparkle shadows don't have that velvety damp feel to them. So they did really do a cute job with the cover of this palette. It is really adorable. Um, I love the, there is a, it's, it's a little bit popping up, so when you touch it, you can feel the lift of, of Darth Vader. And um, so it is a, done very well. It's a really cute palette. I think this would be nice um, to give as a gift to a Star Wars fan for sure. So that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.